Hey everyone, my name is Jay. Thanks for checking out the channel. And today is Saturday, and I'd love to bring out this series. After the explanation, what I'm going to do in each of these videos is run through eight hands and then show you how to set them up house way. Um, after that, I'm going to show you three hands of a drill where you can practice handling the tiles and comparing hands. All right, I'm going to try to explain this game as simple as possible. It's probably going to be confusing in the first videos because I haven't explained everything yet, but try to first understand like the lesson in each of the videos. So everything else is a bonus after that. You know, once I get through more of the concepts, it's going to be easier for you to follow. Okay, so how does this game work? Well, in the game, there's 32 tiles that make 16 pairs. So I had my friend Sarah give the proper pronunciation of the tiles. So here are the names of the tiles ranked from highest to lowest. Zijun, Tin, Dei, Yan, Ngo, Mui, Chang, Ban, Fu Ping Tut Lok Zap Gao Zap Ba Zap Tut Zap M Okay, so here are your sixteen pairs. The faster you learn the names and the rankings of the tiles, the easier the game is going to be. It's kind of like learning a brand new deck of cards. Anyways, if you've been on the channel, you've seen some Pygal Tiles live streams. That's roughly how the game is dealt, but we only show you part of it. In a nutshell, the players go against the banker. In most cases, the banker is the dealer. So what happens is that the players receive four tiles. They set up their hand to make a two-tile low hand and a two-tile high hand. If their low hand beats a dealer's low hand and their high hand beats a dealer's high hand, they win. If both a low and a high hand lose to the dealer's low and high hand, they lose. And if one wins and one loses, it's a push. And that's basically it. All right, so the hands are ranked like this. First off, you have your top 16 pairs. So next, you have a specific combination that involve the teen tile or the day tile with one of the nines. So these are called Wongs. So after the top 16 pairs and after the Wongs, the next thing in value are teens or days with eights and those are called Gongs. So we have these ones here. So this is a teen Gong. These are both the same. Or, and then we have the day Gong. So teen gongs and then day gongs. So top 16 pairs, wongs, and then gongs. Now after the 16 pairs and the wongs and gongs, we have one more combination that involves a teen or day with the sevens. So now these are called high nines. So this is a teen nine, this is a day nine. So now after all the pairs and all those specific combinations that we just talked about, you're now gonna combine two tiles together and the sum of the dots make up the value of the two tile hand. So if I have say a four and a five, that makes a nine. So nine is the highest value and zero is the lowest. If you have something like a six and a seven, that makes 13. But what we're going to do is use the one's value in the sum of the two tiles. So instead of 13, this is treated as three. So Ji Jun, they're like the aces in a deck of cards. Only in the fact that aces can be 1 or 11 in blackjack. In Paiga tiles, either one of these can have a value of 3 or 6. Whatever makes your hand higher. And they're the only ones that have different values. Now when we're looking at different combinations of the same sum value, so in this instance my example is 5, one can actually rank higher than the other. 
It's based on the ranking of the highest tile in that hand. For the most part, the order of ranking is the same. The only thing that changes is the Jijun tile, which is the weakest value tile on their own. They're the strongest together, but the weakest on their own. So in this example, this is a Mui 5, because the Mui is the highest ranking tile out of the two here. This is a Ping 5, because this is the highest ranking tile out of the two. This is a Ban 5, because of this tile being higher than the Fu. And then this is a Yan 5, because the Yan is the highest tile out of the two. Out of all four of these fives, the Yun 5 is the highest because of the ranking of the Yun above all the other tiles seen here. Okay, so when I talk about individual tile ranking, what I've done here is I've taken just one tile out from each of the pairs to show you that it's pretty much the same. The only difference is that this Ji Jun on its own becomes the weakest ranking tile out of all of them. So the teen becomes the highest, followed by all of the other tiles after that. So with single tiles, the teen is the highest and G is the lowest. So in every video, we're gonna go through eight hands and it's broken down like this. First off, you look for pairs. Once you find your pairs, we call them bows, you'll set up your hand. After, you look for wongs, then gongs, so teen or day with an eight, and then a teen or day with a seven, those are high nines. If you don't have any of those first points, so if you don't have any pairs or specific combinations, what you're going to do is try to balance the hand as close as possible. So 6, 7, 9, 10. 7 plus 9 is 6. 6 plus 10 is 16, which is 6. So your hand is 6, 6. Okay, so let's go through some practice hands. We're going to do 8 hands. Make sure you screenshot this or pause it, and maybe write it down. These are some tips to help you set up your hands. Now I'm setting it up as a dealer, so we're setting everything house way, as this is a dealer tutorial video, so. So if you're practicing at home, just do a nice standard shuffle, stack up the tiles, and uh, we'll do it all in one shot here. We'll do all eight hands, and then we'll do an explanation of what you should be looking for. So, all right, so let's start with the first hand here. Okay, number one, what you're going to look for are any pairs. So do we have any pairs here? No, we don't. Number two, teen day with a seven, eight, or nine. We do not have any teen or day in this hand. Teen or days, sorry. And now what you're going to do is balance the hand, set the hand as close together as possible without making it worse. Since you don't have any little tiles, all you really need to do is put them in a specific order from lowest to highest in this case. That would be a nice tip for you. And then place your highest tile with the lowest tile. So I have two sevens, an eight and a nine. So a seven is going to go with a nine and a seven is going to go with the eight. And so what you're going to do is bring this seven over with the nine because this seven is higher than this one. So your hand is going to be five, six. And that's the closest that you can set it. Okay. Hand number two. Any pairs? No pairs. We do have a teen, but you want to look for a teen day with a 7, 8, or 9. Now, because you don't have a 7, 8, or 9 with it, you're going to balance the hand. You're going to make it as close together as possible first. Okay. So what you do is you set up your hand as close as possible. But because you don't have a 3, you don't have a 3 or higher. It's lower than a 3. What you're going to do is you're going to bring the hands as far apart as possible to make your biggest hand at least a seven. So in this instance, I have zero, eight, 
And because of that, because it's higher than the 7, this hand will stay this way. So it's going to be 0, 8. Okay, next hand here. First off, we're looking for any pairs. No pairs. Teen or day? No teen or day. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the hand as close together as possible. So what you can do is you can put your 5, 7, 10, and 11 in that order. Your biggest and smallest tile will balance the hand out. So in this instance, what we have is 6, 7. And that's the closest that you can put it. Okay, next hand here. Okay, first off, we're looking for any pairs. This is an easy one. Yes, there is a pair. So because we have this look bow, what you're going to do is not separate, uh, split any pairs whatsoever. You never split sixes, so automatically, it doesn't matter what these two tiles are, this becomes your hand. All right, so in this instance, the hand is eight bow. Okay, first off, any pairs? No pairs. Do we have a teen or day? Yes. Do we have a 7, 8, or 9? Yes, we do. We have 1, 9. When you have 1 teen and 1 9, they automatically go together, no matter what the other two tiles are in this instance. So now your hand is automatically set, and it becomes 7, Wong. A 9 with a teen tile is a Wong, so it's a teen Wong. All right, first off, are there any pairs? Yes. So we have the bun. So you never split fours. Automatically go together. It doesn't matter what these two tiles are. Now we show our hand here. An eight with a day is a gong. So we have a day gong and a bow. So it's gong bow. All right. So, do we have any pairs? No. No pairs, no teen or day. So now what we want to do is balance the hand. When you have two small tiles, they usually go together. Because in this sense, when you have two tiles, if I go from smallest to largest, so if I go four, five, six, seven, what I'm doing is I'm reducing the hand. So we're not gonna play one, one. Your two tiles together, make the 9, and your low hand makes the 3. So the hand is 3, 9. Okay, first off, any pairs? No. We have no pairs. We do have a day, uh, teen or day tile, so we do have a day tile. And then do we have a 7, 8, or 9? Yes, we have 1, 8. And in that sense, they automatically go together no matter what the other two tiles are. So, here in this example, we have seven, gong. Right. Well, I hope these practice hands help you this week. Next week, we'll do another eight. And I hope you have a good week. Thanks for watching.